Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Lissy Builds. For today's video we are doing a build request from a friend called Ethan O'Donnell. The request was for a small home for one sim who wanted a one bedroom, one bathroom with a photo studio and a study. So I made it a little bit open plan. So the living room and the study is kind of one section. And then the photo studio is separately at the back. Like at first it was separate from the, at the back of the house and I actually joined it to the back of the house instead with like a strange intake of windows looking through it. Um, they have all packs, but I did try to keep it limited. So I used mostly, I, well, I only had turned on vampires, uh, paranormal, do, 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 what else was there? Jungle adventure and... There was one, apart from base game, there was one other pack I had turned on, but I can't quite remember what it was. But I ended up not really using most of them. I mostly stuck to vampires and paranormal because I thought they worked really, really well together. Um, again, if you ever see one of my builds and it comes up with packs that you don't have, I always recommend to like click on that little icon of the pack you don't have because it could just be like one thing that I've used as like a clutter item that you don't have and then it wouldn't affect your build. You could still have the build. It might be, you know, like one like piece of furniture on the inside which you could easily switch out so i would say with any people's builds especially with mine because again i do sometimes just use like a clutter item for something like i have a base game only build it literally just has one swing set from um i think it was the island living pack the rest of the build was base game like literally 99.9 percent .9 base game and you didn't need the swing set to have the build i just thought it looked kind of cool with the swing set in the park so i did that but anyway back to this build so gothic and like kind of dark vampire-y type builds aren't my style they're not something I pretend that I'm good at I think well I don't think I'm particularly good at any specific style but this wouldn't be like one of my better things I'm more comfortable with but I think I turned out fairly well and Ethan and Ethan's friend have said they liked it and it was exactly what they were looking for so hopefully that means I take some boxes. Um, for some reason I'm feeling this kitchen changes I end up putting a wall that becomes not an island counter if that makes sense I did get rid of the islands because it just wasn't working well because I needed to fit like a, a bedroom and a studio and those chairs were just clipping into the, technically the next section of the room so I did put a wall there eventually there we go there we go and i made like a stone entrance from the jungle adventure pack i think oh yeah the floors basically the floors and the walls are basically the only thing used i'm going to say that also the stove and the fridge there's a few things used from jungle adventure pack but you could easily switch out the stove and the fridge and the flooring um and that one little well you get what i mean anyway so it took me a few minutes to figure out what i wanted um in this build again because I don't usually go for the darker colours but in the end I quite like how the kitchen turned out quite cute and I did go back later on and add a few things to the kitchen I'm pretty sure I have some shelves and maybe I do that in a moment so that sugar skull by the time I'd cluttered up the sides there wasn't really any room for it but I wanted to keep the sugar skull and then I remembered in the shelving there's an actual shelf specific to the sugar skulls so I used that instead because um, you know me, I like to clutter things up, but the sugar the sugar skull shelves, while that's an awful, um, does work quite well with this build and it fits in well because of the colours it uses. And I also make sure I use I leave one of the kitchen cabinets completely empty of clutter so you can use it, or your sim can use it when cooking, because I do know you need at least one empty shelf. Um, boo -boo -boo. I'm struggling to talk today, guys. This is really, really weird for me. Um, Anyway, maybe just because I've spent more time in the kitchen than I would usually um, and also it's very very warm here and I can also hear my fella closing and banging doors throughout the house I don't know if you can hear him but he's like I don't know what he's doing he's cleaning or something um, but he's being very noisy and it's a little bit distracting and I'm like half listening to him and then forgetting what I'm saying to you guys but anyway the kitchen is nearly over and actually when we do the walkthrough at the end two of the chairs and two of the windows actually vanished um, but I did put them back before I uploaded to the gallery. Um, but if it's not there, you obviously can see my video what is supposed to be where. Because sometimes the odd thing does vanish. Um, shouldn't affect your build at all though. It's usually just a clutter item. 
oh, vintage glamour, that was the pack I used, vintage glamour, because I thought, I didn't want to feel like, you know, old Victorian, like, vampire gothic, so I wanted, like, a mixture, and I think vintage glamour also works well, because it, yeah, it does have, like, a, obviously vintage and old are kind of similar in different aspects, but that's kind of my idea, that I wanted it to be a little bit more modern and up-to-date, while still having that kind of darker vibe and I know gothic doesn't mean like black and red but it's not a style I'm used to and that is what comes to mind when I'm doing that so that's what I went with if anybody knows more about the gothic style and what actual colours you know are used within that style please let me know I know I could have just looked up reference pictures on google but I try not to do that I used to do it quite a lot and I'm trying to avoid doing that because I don't want my builds to all look like pictures off the internet and so I'm trying to like come up what comes from my mind and this was it. Anyway, I like how it turned out. I think it turned out fairly decent. Anyway, we're onto the living room now. So where that kind of bump out the window is, is where like the living area becomes and then towards the bedroom and bathrooms at the back is where the study area becomes and then you'll see me do the photo studio with a lot of faffing around uh, because it took me absolutely ages to, to make it work because obviously the photo studio needs to be sheltered from the elements and obviously it needs good lighting but then I didn't want random people walking into it and taking the stuff because I know depending on if like if you have the eco pack and you have the sharing is carrying on people just like come and take your stuff so it needed to be through a locked room and then it was just too close to the house if it was on a big lot it probably would have been, obviously I would have been able to do it not attached to the build and spread out a little bit away but it was like you know one tile between the wall and the photo studio wall so I ended up joining the rooms together but the entrance to it is only from the outside you could I suppose move to front add a door from the bedroom in there but I just figured like you will not want to be going through your bedroom with your clients or whoever you're photographing photo photographing photographing to do your work you wouldn't want them walking through your house most likely so I was like the studio will be outside um, and it took me a while to mess it because I was like I had to go through and find out what pack I had stuff from like photo studio and it was the get to work so that now reminds me also get to work is using this pack so we were slowly building up how many packs we were using but there is no more after that so it's only get to work vampires jungle adventure vintage glamour and paranormal they are the only packs that I use I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything off that now, but I think they do all work pretty well together and I'm basically just throwing in the finishing touches now and then in the photo studio is like the last kind of bit which doesn't take much work really we just figuring out where it was going to go and then the wallpaper basically and the, the windows in the bedroom to disappear but I actually put them back in because I really like the fact that he could like you know open his curtains and there is his photo studio and like all his hard work or her hard work whoever moves into this build um so you'll see that a little bit later on oh the bathroom i forgot about the bathroom and um, very simple very basic a side a bath and a toilet the toilet is in that little separate bit to the side i know that's more of a japanese thing but it just worked well for this build because i felt without that wall the bathroom was just too big too long but having that like room separately I think worked fairly well and that plan was fiddly trying to get into the right place so I still wanted it to be centered to the desk and then I'm just basically filling up empty gaps here there's a bit too much room um, behind the sofa area and I didn't want to completely have it completely open but I didn't want it completely blocked off and cluffed either so I figured like a nice little end table behind the sofa would work well and then we just throw in plants in basically so now is where I spend ages trying to figure out where I'm going to put this, how is it going to work, how do I make it sheltered from the elements and then I wanted the building to be like slightly higher but I realised like I thought if the, they weren't attached you could have them different levels but apparently that wasn't working for me um, so I obviously didn't want to mess with the level of the downstairs of the house or the only level of the house so this is me just working it around, I end up putting that door because I realised it needed to be closed off so people just couldn't just walk in and so I put the door in the end and close it off and this is where I kind of slowly get to the point where it attaches to the house because I was happy with how it was I know that you're kind of like a greenhouse separately then I realised it was like way too close to the wall so I ended up smidging that over and shifting it in but it took me a few minutes and for some reason the roof just would not stay attached to this little house I don't know why it was really bugging me 
but we got there in the end um, you'll see me in a moment where I attach it because I was like starting to do the landscape from the outside and as I kind of got to the back I was like this isn't going to work having that little gap between the edge of the house and the studio because you're basically looking out your bedroom windows a brick wall and I cannot imagine that would be nice for anyone I wouldn't want to look out my bedroom window right now and see a brick wall currently looking out my bedroom window I can see the ocean so that is a lovely view to have and I could not imagine opening my window to a brick wall so here we go this is where I was trying to attach it and I forgot I had to like raise it up a little bit because I had a foundation on the house and then you do the same and so that's it attached I added the windows back in because I thought that was like a cute little extra you know open your bedroom windows and there is my photo studio like your your home is in a photo studio or your photo studio is in your home I thought that was a pretty cool idea I liked it it was a new kind of concept for me I've never done that before like having I've never actually done a photo studio in any of my builds actually so I think this whole build was like completely new for me I have done a build for a vampire before but it was like um it was for like a vampire an alien and a human so only really one room was vampire ish and then the rest of the room was like alien and human so it like looked like a normal a why is a normal home actually to be fair nothing's really normal but it looked more like what i would usually do like my whatever my style is i don't know what my style is they just my builds come out how they come out and if you have watched this far guys thank you so much and how have you all been what have you been up to um i have been really busy lately um not bad busy like fun busy i've just had like loads of stuff to do and i'm trying to like figure stuff out because like i really as soon as the pandemic is over would love to like travel for a year like we're renting our apartment and apart from a ton of clothes we don't really have a lot of items like we 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 try and keep like not minimalists by by far not minimalists because we have way too much stuff like clothes wise and like but most of it's like just you know like clutter like stuff that we don't ever use but we just don't want to get rid of so i thought it'd be pretty cool to like pack up loads of our stuff store them at like my fella's parents house because they've got like a storage area and then we could like travel for a year like a year and work as we go i mean i know we live on an island but it's not the same as traveling the world i'd really love to do that while we're still young before we have like kids and all that stuff you know where you can't really do that anyway back into the build so this is the final walk through so lots of um, terrain plans going in. Go straight into the kitchen and dining area. Um, literally, the, the chairs were here when I did that, and as soon as I changed that piece of wallpaper, two windows and two chairs were vanished. Which again is annoying, but we can fix it quickly. I just, you know, cloned it over because I didn't have to worry about activating the other packs, but it wouldn't go in. What I do sometimes when that happens is just turn off BB Move objects and then turn it back on again and glitch solved it works as normal and for some reason oh i was like for some reason this is really slow and i realized it's because it's the walkthrough it's not sped up so apologies about that a little bit um so here we are going back around and the only other thing that vanished from this build was the computer which i put back in straight away because i noticed it straight away so here's the living room i really liked how this living room turned out i am also a little bit obsessed with the paranormal packs that could be why because i just really love the furniture and the rugs and everything from that one so here we're just throwing the desk back in and then literally nothing else vanished from the build which was lucky so we've got two doors one going into the bathroom and one going into the toilet a little sink area a little unit you know for storing your makeup essentials or the deodorant or whatever on shampoo bottles into the bedroom not overly cluttered but i did put some around the bedside tables a little cute plant in there and i know i could just jump the wall to show you the photo studio but instead i walked you around the side of the house to show you the way the sim would walk if you're playing straight into the cute little photo studio and um, i should have probably put curtains in to cover those windows if the sims wanted to but hey it's fine if you want to add curtains you can do of course Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, if you click that little middle button, the little circle one, it'll subscribe you to my YouTube channel. And if you click the links either side, it'll take you to some more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.